56.3 hours on the uh, auto feed tachometer, 71 hours on the uh, engine control panel. Uh, it's got some owner's manual stuff, warranty stuff in, in there. So it's a Caterpillar model 3054E, E for electronic. It's got the electronic injection pump. It's a Bosch model VP30. A lot like a VP44 you see on the Dodge Cummins, uh, just scaled down in dimension. And uh, so electronic engine control. Uh, over here, I've added this. This is a fuel water separator. Uh, Perkins or Cat will offer that engine any way the OEM wants. In this case, Bandit kind of cut corners and did not want that. They've just got the fuel filter. So any water in the fuel is going to run through everything. That will pull it out. And it won't pull out everything if there's a lot, you know, massive contamination, but it does a pretty good job for your uh, normal condensation, that kind of stuff. And also I added a uh, primer bulb. This thing's pretty slick. Uh, when you change the fuel, you're not going to be running a, the uh, fuel pump dry, overheating it, and burning up the pump, uh, having an early failure. And it's actually a pretty handy diagnostic tool. If that thing, uh, if it thinks stalls, you go to squeeze that, well, you should check your fuel. And if you got fuel, well, then I'd be checking your suction hose and uh, your draw tube in the tank. But uh, good engines. It's uh, Perkins at heart. Uh, Caterpillar bought Perkins in late 1998, and they rebrand that engine. Uh, and the, on the Perkins side, that engine's known as a 1104C-E44T. Turbocharged electronic 4.4 liter 1100 series. So uh, everything's been uh, just freshly serviced, everything greased, engine oil changed, fuel filters changed, runs good. There's uh, another video you can watch that will, uh, you can see it in operation. And like I say, it's, it's pretty clean. I don't know if you can see down in there. And uh, panels are clean and straight, both sides, very little use on this one.